Why? is overflowing like the wine in Shabbat goblets, so rub your eyes and pockets with the tonic droplets. You try to drop a spaceship on a comet, but you lost it. Your man-made mechanisms, they could not unlock it. Some turned to stone and nailed the crosses for trying to talk it, surviving hard, relying on the harvest of the market. It's obvious the tribes are spread out like giant carpets, and this life is temporary like sublet in apartments, eaten with chopsticks, living life in meager monetary margins. Sanctioned from celebration has got our people starving, evolving while solving immeasurable problems. Problems. And clans of hobgoblins got nothing but plans to dominate the whole entire micro and macrocosms. I dip into the rhythm like ladle and soup out of cauldrons, fall in forgotten ways, shape shifts, and us evolving. To all my fellow earth dwelling entities, we are sovereign. A distant drum, urgency, eternity's curtains parting. Embarking on epic journeys from day to when it's darkened, and sparking bonfires in zones mentally impoverished. Action guarantees a strong reaction. Everybody wants to be a movie star. Mm -hmm. I can see the big attraction because they work for just a fraction of the time we work, yet they get paid much more. <laughs> and the basking in the glory is a big part of the story. Must be fun for everyone to know your name. Though it might not be so jazzy to be trailed by paparazzi, to be an actor seems worthwhile just the same. So if you want to be an actor, clap your hands. If you want to be an actor, clap your hands. If you want to be an actor with the paparazzi factor, if you want to be an actor, clap your hands. But if you'd rather drive a tractor, stamp your feet. If you'd rather drive a tractor, stamp your feet. If you'd rather drive a tractor, then be a movie actor. If you'd rather drive a tractor, stamp your feet. If you want to be an actor, I suggest you buy a camera. Have your friends film the movie of your life. You'll have to find a good solution to accomplish distribution, but at least you'll be a star in your own mind. And I know it will be hard to face the pressures of a job, but at least you will work in reality. You could cure the world of cancer, prevent the next disaster, be a productive member of society. But if you'd rather be an actor, clap your hands. If you'd rather be an actor, clap your hands. If you'd rather be an actor with the paparazzi factor, if you'd rather be an actor, clap your hands. But if you want to drive a tractor, stamp your feet. If you want to drive a tractor, stamp your feet. If you want to drive a tractor, 
And not be a movie actor If you want to drive a tractor Stamp your feet Well, in my dream. What are you dreaming? This night, I dreamed with a fairy. I was a, a singing rock and roll fairy. And even I would even sing heavy metal. And then I woke up and it was, I was still a fairy. And then I, I was floating around and I went to go fly. And then I woke up right Revolución. Okay, repite, esto es algo africano, una canción africana que quiere decir que no tenemos límite. This is a song that from Africa that means we are not limited, we are unlimited. Kilele. Now there once was a farmer who sat on a rock Shaking his whiskers and waving his fist at the people All gathering sticks and teaching the children To play with their kites and their marbles <laughs> In days of old yore when along came a lady Who looked like a decent young person <laughs> With a face like a duck they say she's discovered a new way to teach the young children to sew and to knit. Two boys in the barnyard were shoveling mud from the stable and mowing the lawn. When along came the squire who pulled out his horse from the stable to go on a hunt. His wife's in the bedroom powdering her nose with some powder she keeps in a box. She's just getting over her last dose of gout and rheumatics and it's left her all stiff. They say she's contracted a new strain of what did you think I was going to say? It's all in your mind and that's all for today. Yeah. <laughs> More than one way out. Uh, 
Firefly. Uh, Rainbow River of Rain tonight. Can I give you my interpretation? Go for it. I think that if you break down all your boundaries of image, trying to be an image of something to try to kill you, be or vanity, trying to be like great and not good for national people, but trying to be. Did everyone really stand on I'm Dale, and uh, I'm traveling by bicycle. I think I have a pretty good sensitivity, high sensitivity to like nature and energies and everything. And I got here to the gathering. I've been here for about a week, and uh, the Spirit House was built here by G Funk the other day, and uh, I, I noticed it going up. And the next morning, I ran to a sister, and she wanted to take a picture of a sister who died over there, but she she asked me to do it. And so I took it over there and I got over to the spirit house and I uh, got ready to put the picture up and it, in my mind I thought, now she can be here with us. And I was just like, in those words, the thought came, now she can be here with us. And as soon as I did, I, the tears started flowing. I never met the sister, but she looked young from the picture and was it, she's with a friend and you can see the love between them. And uh, I just felt her when I thought that. And then I put her picture up and the tears flowed like I'd lost one of my own. It was my sister, you know. And uh, then I was right out front here yesterday and these two sisters came by and they were speaking about how they've been walking past the spirit house and they felt a voice come to them that said, come and smoke with me. And they went in and they smoked with, uh, they said, the girl in the picture.
I wish I could write you a love poem. I wish I could say that the dandelions are a symbol of it. I wish I could romance you with candles and picnics under the stars. I can't. I see light in your eyes as heaven, but the words take away her glorious magic and it dims upon the ineffable. I want to say that you would be the one for me, but that's a lie. We, together, are the one for her ungovernable wind. That is the truth. What's it matter how we separate when across the gulf of time we touch hands and bodies in the lagoon of never? Never ever will we smell each other again. That love shouldn't be spoken, for it is unkind to you. Meanwhile, the asphalt interstate tells me to roam hills populated by tomahawk killers and the sons of knots.
right, guys, it's our turn. Here we go. Ready? Wake, wake up. up. People of the earth, wake, wake up. up. Come on, guys, let's hear it. This is only the My name's Stephen Wing, and I try to write a poem about every rainbow gathering I go to. And so far, the muse has blessed me with all my gatherings. I've come home with a poem, and this one is from the 31st annual Rainbow Family Gathering in Ottawa National Forest, Michigan, July 1 to 7, 2002. It's called Babylon Come Home. As above, so below. Laughter through the trees along the trail. Wind playing high in the branches, while children play among the ferns. The woods are alive with people at work, like a convention of beavers, building a village of sticks and tarps and string that will stand forever in the memories of these kids. The forest is my church. Following a call for circle, I found a kitchen in a clearing and a couple hundred strangers holding hands. There's always room for one more. In the center of the circle, giant pots of food sat steaming while a sister prayed, a brother complained, and we all sang. Then we sat down on the grass, and the servers started their procession around, following the holy jug of hand wash. How did we ever get so scattered? Which lifetime did we learn this trick of dividing and conquering ourselves? Who sold us the latest technology of separation? These deadbolts and fences, tinted windows and alarms, and how long was, must we keep paying? A circle of drummers serenading the brown glitter of current downstream around a double horseshoe bend. The water is alive with people at play, like a tribe of hippopotami, while just upstream of the bridge, three solar panels pump river water through the filters into an endless queue of cups and water bottles. Water is my sacrament. On one side, the riverbank was crowded with citizens exercising their sacred right to assemble. On the other side of the bridge, lawmen played cavalry, defending the holy relics of an archaeological site where loggers dumped their trash while they milled the local sacred groves into money. Though the real ruins were bulldozed by the Forest Service years ago, local old-timers say. Babylon is only a state of mind. Half profane plastic, half sacred tobacco. Detach with a twist. Pocket the filter and tenderly split the paper. Sprinkle grateful prayers beside whatever path you wander. We all have a role to play in the melodrama of history, however minute. Mine this year is made up of a couple dozen small services, refilling hand wash at the Kid Village latrine, digging through lost and found to recover a sister's green-rimmed glasses, a brother's pocket knife on its loop of hand-braided hemp, policing the trails from the blacktop down to the river. Babylon, come home. I met a fellow from back home, assisting with a berth at his first gathering, he said taking a break to hurry back and zip his tent before the rain. And later I heard how Stella Rainbow was born, just before we all looked up and saw the rainbow. A naked woman is a pure vision of the divine, 
Don't confuse it with de desire. Learn to look without lust. Meet her eyes without shame, and you may be ready for a grown-up woman of your own. Maybe even this one passing on the trail right now, glancing shyly back. But even a woman fully clothed is a goddess incognito, brother, beware. The gathering is bigger than the family. Two eagles circling above our circle in the silence on the fourth, as people continue endlessly to arrive, advancing weaponless down the hill, almost wordless across the forbidden bridge and up the grassy slope to take the hilltop in the name unspoken. While I still lingered at in info, one hand flat against a brother's back, listening through the silence as he spilled out his anger and heartbreak, his irreplaceable blue backpack, stolen or spaced on a supply run. It didn't matter. His faith was shaken and his shoulders rocked with the sobs of a man working hard for nothing but love, cheated out of his wages in the end. If here, then everywhere, Babylon come home to haunt us. I hope he at least looked up to see the sun dog that circled the sun in the clear blue sky after the silence broke into celebration. I hope he looked down a day or so later to see the candlelit mud altar beside the main trail, covered with intricate mud sculptures, a miniature pueblo along the mud bank, where tiny mud people waved from ladders and hammocks at the passing multitude. As above, so below. Spirit, manipulating the manipulators in the council, leading us home again and again. Bureaucracy entangling the bureaucrats, hierarchy foiled by hierarchy, officers of the peace restra restrained from disrupting an illegal prayer for peace. The river of love flowing onto the sea without ceasing, carrying off the sediment of sorrow, the salt of sweat, the droplets of heaven that fall when the clouds can no longer contain their love for the earth. The family is bigger than the gathering. Babylon, come home. Waters of this earth move with such truth and grace. Holy waters, holy waters from the ancient of days. Her strength and her power helps move the tides and waves. Her sweet and gentle flows right through our veins. But mama's sacred water Humans have gone astray. Please, Mama Water, don't give up on the human race. Nations across this world stand up and protect her space. Let's stand together united in Mama Water's name. Let's stand together united in Mama Water's name. Waters of this world move with such truth and grace. Holy waters, holy waters from the ancient of days. Her strength and her power helps move the tides and waves. Her sweet and gentle flows right through our veins. But mama's sacred water, humans have gone astray. So please, mama water, don't give up on the human race. Nations across this earth stand up to protect her space. Let's stand together united in Mama Water's name. Let's stand together united in Mama Water's name. Let's stand together united in Mama Water's name. Minuatroni, for all the water protectors of this earth, Matakuyasan.
sentences may not make perfect, but it does make better. So I was flipping through a kid's coloring book, right? Uh huh. So many things I want to say, and I want to say nothing at all. Just let it be, oh let it be, the rainbow way. Because I am a rainbow, and you're a rainbow too. The moon's not so bright here beneath the canopy beside the fire, but her face just kept changing, and it changed him too. <laughs> Bingo! Can we do some more wood on this? You guys down? Mm, yeah, yeah. There's a dime and a nickel sitting on a fence, and the nickel falls off. Why not the dime? Because the dime had more sense. <laughs> we want real fire, real drumming, real dancing, real madness, real divine celebration. Yes. And we're all cosmic butter, dragon, and fireflies, and we fly, fly, fly around the omniverse and the transcendent. Hi, hi. All oh, praises to the great divine goddess. Hi. We're all cosmic, electric, transcending, empowered, enlightened. Divinely gifted, divinely guiding, divinely loving. Rainbow lights, we're all rainbow lights. All we see is rainbow lights. All there is is rainbow light. And I am, I am, I am, I am, known all around the world. Because of you, beautiful family, rainbow family of living light. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tenali face. Tenali face, who? Tenali on the radio face, where you can't say any words because your face is in your eyes so you can't read. Effective airlock against the vacuum of space. When your blue eyes turn black, when your arms turn black feathers, change newly unique because it is welcome. That was like their cycle. At the end of the day, they had, they had these two energies that they worked with, and they had to like memorize like 66 different sexual positions <laughs> and to be able to like fully take in all the sexual energy that they would take in from doing that. And they would also fill in with like life force energy, and they would do the two things and kind of like recycle to like activate their higher capacities and like open their third eye and stuff. A man walks into the doctor's office. He's got a banana stuck in his ear. Cheerios up his nose. The doctor looks at him and says. You're not eating properly. All of you, if this ever happened to you, you went out there, you started taking nice crap. You want to be by yourself? Just doing what you do. Poof. <laughs> Take a poof. And then some kind brother comes up and he wants to yap and he talk and he talk and he yap. About poof. And then they never do with poop, but he just wanna poop. Get out of here. You see this thing coming out of her butt? It's poop. It just needs to go down in the hole and be pooped. And this brother here is constipated. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> shit, fly, food, you. Cover your shit. Far away from the microphone, you're going to be
Now have a scary story. Now tell a scary story. Once there was a little girl, and her name was Rosemary, and she had a best friend. A best friend? Yeah. And her best friend always let her have some Jolly Ranchers. And she always let him, her, she always let her have some crybabies. Which are a kind of candy. And crybabies do this is kind of scary. They're so sour that they make you cry. And one day she put one in her eye and cried so hard that she said, it was sour in my eye. Then her best friend turned into a zombie and ate her all up.
Today is a beautiful day to live, to learn, to listen, to love each other. But first, we must breathe so that when life takes our breath away, we can walk lightly with light, carrying forward a now presence for a brighter tomorrow, today. This is not a poem, but a promise, a reminder to pay attention to what we are paying attention to, to recognize that we are always in relationship, that I am not the same me with you, but something that we make together, something more. The afterlife of our communication matters. We can always do something positive next. How can we lift each other up? Breathe and answer this question with your words and actions daily.
<laughs> Above is the cosmos, dancing in the sky. Below is the earth, holding up the floor. Around is the expanding world, extending through the bend. The joke might be that some might think there actually is an end. This life seems ever flowing, though some try to put it out. The old continue on as the new ones come about. Just when we think the end, the question sparks inside. What could be beyond this breath there on the other side? Somehow we know instinctually existence doesn't stop. We work and work the clock around to rise into the top. Once atop the summit's edge, we begin to grasp a clue. Above, below, round and round, it all comes back to you. Who am I? Then becomes the mystery of the path. Competition, mirrors, ego, they're all valueless if you do the math. Then bells chime in your heart of hearts as laughter fills the mind. As now you know the self must go if the I you are to find. Cleaning up here on part four of Totally High, Holy, Rainbow Colored, Spirit Hawk of Awakened Manifestation. My name is Iridescent Tree Top Tenali. I hope you've enjoyed your journey. For a playlist and to subscribe to the show, visit muddybootsradio.org. And you may also check out the Rainbow Gathering Field Recording Collection at soundsfromtherainbow.org. Find me on Instagram and Facebook at muddybootsradio. Okay, until we meet again on the open road, I wish you all the very best. May the trail rise before you. We love...